Welcome back. We just picked up some uh, Garidian refugees. And we need to decide what to do. So I will continue our patrol, I Set suppose. Set course for the Ruinor sector and resume our patrol along the neutral zone. So apparently we were patrolling the neutral zone. Yes, sir. Engage. Well, we are at warp. Well, let's talk to our guests, because Worf told us they wanted to talk to us. Um, let's talk to, uh, to Buck. Captain Picard, can you help us contact a Vulcan archaeologist named Shaynok? He may possibly hold the key to the discovery of the Lawgiver's fifth Don't throne. introduce yourself, don't say hi hello, don't say thank you for rescuing us. No, he just starts making requests immediately. I want to I say him, you're in being impolite. But there's no such option. Oh, well, let's just see if we can find out what he was talking about. What is this fifth scroll you mentioned? Let me give you a bit of background. Caridian society is a rigid structure consisting of two distinct classes. The patricians and the plebeians. Oh, that's original. Not derived at all. For the past 1,000 years, that structure has been governed by the laws derived from the four sacred scrolls. The first scroll outlines our code of honor. The second describes the relationship between the military and the government. The third defines the principles of our religion. And the fourth enumerates the privileges and the responsibilities of the patrician class. How fascinating. But you speak of another scroll. According to legend, the lawgiver also wrote a fifth scroll defining the rights and privileges of the plebeian class, which were not explained in the other scrolls. This is uh, much easier to do than the mist let's plays. I hardly have to talk, I just have to let them do the talking. Let's see, why is he interested? Why are you so interested in this fifth scroll? I am a scholar, Captain. My interest is purely academic. Lucana, on the other hand, is a social revolutionary. She hopes the scroll will inflame the underclasses to rebellion. Well, that sounds like a good idea. How would an ancient scroll do her any good? The patrician stopped the lawgiver before he could reveal his fifth scroll. The lawgiver and a few of his disciples, known as the Followers, left Gerrit in five spaceships to start their own colony. How long ago was this? Did they have spaceships? For a race that apparently doesn't have their own spaceships, but buys them from the Romulans. They seem to be more technically advanced than we thought. No trace of them was ever found, and the story gradually took on mythic proportions. Okay. Now, well, who's this lawgiver fellow? Who is the lawgiver? His real name was Avatrunai, and he was the architect of Goridian society. His four scrolls became the cornerstone of our entire culture. What makes you think Shaynok can help you? My studies indicate that the followers ended up somewhere in what is now Federation space. But because our governments are not on friendly terms, I could never follow up on that research. But the Vulcan scholar Shaynok lives in the Federation, and has made extensive studies of our history. I believe he may have vital information that will help us locate the followers. The Fifth Scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. Even if you don't agree with Lucana's goals, I urge you to talk to Shaynok and help us find the scroll for science's sake. And he turns to look at Riker for no particular reason. This could be an intriguing quest. Now, you can uh, say no, 
I think, and then you the game wouldn't really progress. Well, let's try just help him because, well, that's what we're supposed to do. We want to progress the story, don't we? I have decided to visit Shaynok and see whether he can help you regarding the Fifth Scroll. Our current mission probably wasn't important anyway. Thank you for agreeing to visit Shaynok, Captain. The Fifth Scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. You already said that. Understood. We will be underway at once. I will let you know when we arrive. Mr. Worf, inform Starfleet that we will be assisting the Garidians in their search. Aye, sir. Computer, what are the current whereabouts of the Vulcan archaeologist Shaynok? According to Federation archaeological survey records, Shaynok is currently excavating ruins on the planet Horst III. Major Barrett Roddenberry, may she rest in peace. Doing the voice of the computer there. As in the show, of course. Set course for Horst 3, warp 5. Aye, sir. Engage. It goes through that screen. That's actually uh, something you can do manually as well. Let me talk a little bit about the uh, interface before something interrupts me, which it will. You can talk to all the different crew members and you can talk to your guests using the conference lounge. Use a turbo lift to go to either transporter, uh, which you won't need now, but you will when you go on away teams. And you can go to uh, engineering, which is mainly Waiting useful shield. if you do the do the uh, the harder difficulty settings for the the combat mode. Because right now, every uh, LaForge is doing everything here, so I don't need to worry about it. And you can also go to the holodeck where you can. Rewatch cutscenes. Um, if you activate the Primary computer, core access enabled. Systems online. You can uh, access all kinds of information about the Enterprise. Dear God, who wrote all this stuff? For instance, we can look up uh, the Garidians. Garidians are similar in appearance to and are allied with the Romulans. It has been proposed that the two races are related, and interbreeding has been known to occur, but not enough is known about their respective histories to confirm this hypothesis. The Garidian homeworld is called Garriot. Their society is class oriented, with a small upper class known as the Patricians ruling over the lower plebeian class that far outnumbers them. The world is governed by a ruling council composed entirely of patricians. The military holds great power, but only patricians are allowed to serve as officers. I think every single race listed here will have actually show up in this game. Morogo Raiders are just uh, some random uh, ships you can encounter when you... You can actually fly around Randomly, if you go to astrogation, you can just set a course to anywhere. Captain, we if are you do that, an emergency transmission from Simcoe Four. Oh, an emergency transmission! If you if you do uh, fly it into a random location, you might encounter enemy craft and then have to fight them. I think those Morogo or whatever things were one of the, the enemies that you can encounter. But uh, let's deal with this emergency transmission. Simcoe 4? Isn't that a research center there? Yes, sir. The work at Merton's orbital station focuses on power generation. The researchers there are among the best in the Federation. It's... This game... Really, it, it tries to ma give you the... Uh, impression of giving you choices, but too often the, the, there really isn't any choice. I mean, you can you can cho choose to ignore these things, you can choose not to help the patricians, you can choose to ignore this, but if you actually want to progress in the game, there's only one choice that actually works, so it tries to give you the impression of non-linearity, but in reality, it doesn't work so well. 
on screen. This is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. How can we be of help? Nice dreads, by the way. Captain Picard, I am Danab, Chancellor of Simcoe. We are in need of immediate assistance. Merton's orbital station has been attacked by an unknown vessel and does not answer our hails. Attacked? But the station is a purely scientific facility. Is the attacking vessel still present? We do not know. Whoever or whatever they were, our sensors did not detect them. Well, we'll have to deal with them uh, in the next video.